Superior Drummer 3 includes all of the compression and dynamic tools that you could ever need for any musical genre or compression effect. All in all, the plugin suite in the mixer includes over 30 different effects with 10 unique dynamic tools and 6 dedicated compressor limiters. This video will focus specifically on the 6 different types of compressors that come with Superior Drummer 3. First up is the Classic Compressor. This compressor can be aggressive or gentle, depending on how low the threshold is and how high the ratio is set. It also has a few controls that make it incredibly useful for drum bus compression, such as the mix control and the high-pass sidechain filter. The mix dials in the balance of wet and dry signal for built-in parallel compression. and the sidechain high-pass filter controls the range of frequencies to which the compressor reacts. If the compressor's smashing the kick a bit too hard, dial up the sidechain filter to exclude low frequencies from the compression. If ease of use is what you want, there's a selection of presets found in the drop-down menu for common compression needs. Next is the Compressor Limiter. This is a more aggressive compressor that's capable of higher ratios and faster attack times. Typically, one would use this compressor to smash a drum sound with lower thresholds, or to control some transients with a higher threshold. Since it's a really aggressive compressor, it sounds great on ambience channels. Again, there's a convenient set of presets to get you the desired sound with a single click. Next, the Comp76 is a faithful model of an 1176 limiter with an additional mix control for built-in parallel compression. 1176s are probably the most used drum compressor in existence because they just work so well with percussive sources. The attack time ranges from fast to extremely fast, so it will always grab your transients and give you that classic smack type of sound. It's also an extremely easy compressor to use as it has a fixed threshold. So if you want more compression, simply dial up the input gain knob. And now on to the Fairchild model. This is a faithful recreation of a Fairchild 670, and it's probably the most complex compressor in Superior Drummer 3, in that it has a stereo mode, mid-side mode, and a few controls that you won't see on other compressors. These include the DC threshold and the time constant. The DC threshold is a control that was found on the inside of a physical Fairchild and works similar to a knee control. When the control is at zero, the compressor has a very soft knee meaning that compression starts gradually with a gentle ratio at low levels. As the level increases, more compression is applied at increasingly higher ratios. The time constant controls the attack and release times together in one knob. Turning it to the left will speed up the attack and release, while turning it to the right will slow them down. If you're new to compression, don't worry. It's very hard to make a Fairchild sound bad, and there's a selection of presets based on common uses for drums. Typically, these uses are on stereo channels, such as ambience channels, buses, and the master bus, and the harder it's driven, the more warmth and saturation it delivers. Listen to how I can easily make this ambience channel sound wider by using the mid-side mode.
Or on the master bus, you can compress the kick and snare and any other center elements harder than the wide pan cymbals. Next, we'll move on to the multiband compressor. This is extremely useful for bringing out a nicely controlled air to the drum sound, cleaning up low-mid mud frequencies, or drastically altering the character of an individual drum, just to name a few uses. And because of the mix control, you don't have to be afraid to get aggressive with this compressor. The controls are the typical options that you would find on a compressor, such as attack, release, and ratio. There's just separate controls for each of the four bands. There are, however, drive and level controls for each band. These can be thought of as input and output gain for the selected band. There's also a global input and output gain control, as well as a sidechain high-pass filter, which again, just like the classic compressor, excludes frequencies below the cutoff from the compression. Listen to how the high frequencies of this metal kick drum are brought to the front of the mix by the multiband. Last up for the compressors is the limiter pedal. This is an extremely easy to use limiter for adding weight and loudness to an instrument or group bus. These were just a few of the over 30 plugins available in Superior Drummer 3. With Superior Drummer 3, everything you need for professional drum production is right inside the box.